All right, welcome. Um, today I want to demonstrate how to uh, flash the Gizmo BSP onto your Gizmo board. Uh, we've had a lot of questions on uh, what what can you do with the BSP or how do you get it loaded onto the, or what does it do? Um, the Gizmo BSP is a uh, a replacement for the standard BIOS on it on the board, and it's an open source. So uh, uh, the, our partner Sage has uh, shared with us all of the uh, source files that make up the, the BSP. And uh, they've also given us a trial evaluation copy of their EDK, which is the Embedded Developers Kit. And uh, the, the embedded, embedded Developers Kit is a, a, a great tool, useful tool for uh, um, writing or making changes to the uh, source code in the BSP as well as uh, copying it up to or flashing it into the uh, the ROM on your your device and also uh, running debug and, and traces and so forth anyway I've got uh, my trial version of my smart pro plugged into my Ethernet at home um, and it's also plugged into the board and powered on I've got my board powered on, so I'm going to go ahead and start my uh, EDK. And I'm working in a, uh, a virtual uh, machine. Uh, I'm running Fedora uh, on my uh, my laptop here. Uh, you can be your your development machine can be uh, pretty much anything, as far as uh, if if you've got any flavor of Linux uh, no I don't that's not what I wanted to do um, try that again um, they support Ubuntu and uh, uh, other flavors of Linux uh, I'm running Fedora and when you start the EDK, you should see a uh, message about the uh, the trial, how many days you have left. Uh, I've got still several days left in mine. Um, I've already downloaded the BSP, and I've uh, unzipped it onto my uh, hard drive, and this is the location in which I've put it. So I'm going to point to this workspace. You can uh, browse to wherever it is that you've uh, stored your your BSP unzipped files. Um, and that way when the EDK opens up it will uh, it will have all of the configuration files, all the C files. Um, so I always get this message it's uh, not responding if I just wait for it. It, it shows up. It's just busy and I don't I don't think I've allocated enough uh, resources to it in my virtual machine so it, it runs a little bit slower so here's the uh, message about the uh, I've got 21 days left on my trial continue to the EDK so once the EDK starts uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be connecting it to the smart probe uh, over the Ethernet, it's, and then uh, we'll be uh, copying it, uh, cop downloading the uh, the BIOS that's already installed on our board, just to save a, a backup version in case uh, something goes wrong on the upload or whatever. We can always go back to our backup version. So, still waiting on the EDK to load here. Alright, so the EDK has lots of different tools. Uh, for those of you familiar with uh, Eclipse, it has several different perspectives. The, the default perspective is the uh, C, C++ perspective in which we can see our, our C files here. I can uh, surf around a bit and open up other uh, this is, let's see, I can open up uh, other files 
and uh, view them, edit them if I want to make changes, if I, if there's uh, anything that I'd, I'd want to change in my BIOS, I can uh, find the, the right instruction and uh, have it do whatever I want. Uh, the explorer.c file that I've got open here is actually the uh, controls the demo program that runs on the uh, Explorer board. I'm actually not going to make any changes just yet. All I want to do is flash the ROM that's already came with the BSP. Uh, you don't. Need the, I've also got that uploaded onto the uh, gizmosphere.org website. You can just download the, the ROM images directly without having to get the BSP if, if that's what you'd prefer. Um, Along the top here are a set of tools, and the one that I'm looking for is this one right here. It's the Smart Probe list. I need to connect my EDK with the Smart Probe that's running, that's plugged into the Ethernet on my local network. Um, I've already connected it once, but what you can, if when you open the Smart Probe list, um, it should show you all the smart probes that you have connected. Now by default it's going to look in the USB to see if you've got any smart probes connected on the USB. If you want to change that behavior um, there's this gear down here at the bottom. When you click on that uh, it opens up a, a preferences list and you can say in, in addition to enumerating the serial ports we want to also check the Ethernet. So um, select select Ethernet here and it's going to go out and broadcast across your whole Ethernet uh, looking for your whole local network looking for the probe. If you want to give it a range of addresses um, my uh, network is DHCP is it gives out addresses in the range of 1 to 100 and so I've just told it to search through that range and that way uh, it, it shortens the search time. And so when I click OK, it's going to ha have this auto refresh turned on here too. That way it will find the smart probe. And we can see that the smart probe is giving us information about the target already, uh, the number of nodes that are connected, the cores that are on my node. Um, it's come up halted. Uh, I, if I want to restart my system, I can do a uh, a reset here and it will uh, reboot my target system so I'm rebooting my uh, gizmo board and I'm watching my screen across the room I see that it's uh, booting to the the Linux image that I already have installed I'm currently running Ubuntu on my uh, my uh, gizmo board using a uh, two and a half inch uh, hard drive connected through the USB port. I know a lot of you have been attempting to connect hard drives through the SATA and having some difficulties especially with the SSD hard drives. Um, this distribution of the Gizmo BSP should help resolve those issues by uh, there was a, a bug with the uh, SATA 3 and this uh, this version of the, the BIOS should resolve issues with the SATA 3 port. Anyway, so we've got our, our smart probe identified on the network and it's connected. I can see that it's uh, it's actually functioning because when I hit the reset button I could see it the behavior on the board. So the next thing I want to do is open up the flash tool. That's this F up here at the top. The green box with the letter F in it. And what I'm going to do is scan for flash devices. That will, the, the, uh, it's bringing down my uh, operating system at the moment and then it's going to put the board into a diagnostic mode and it's going to look on the board to see what flash devices are available. Now I'm running a very old uh, gizmo board. Uh, none of you should have one of these. It's a, a gizmo rev one. Um, and it will identify my my ROM that I have on the board, Winbond ROM. I have an 8 meg ROM. Uh, most of you should have a 2 meg uh, spy ROM, which to your benefit means it will uh, flash much quicker, download and upload and burn the flash much faster. Um, so 
down here at the bottom there's uh, options for reading, writing, comparing, and erasing. Uh, one, you have to scan for the flash devices before you can activate those tool sets. And what I would suggest you start with is uh, select the read option. So I'm clicking read here. It takes takes a while after uh, flashing for the the, the uh, probe to start responding again. So what I want to do is take the ROM that's out on the board currently, the one that it's shipped with, and I am going to save that onto my uh, development system. So I'll click Browse and come up with a file name. I'm going to put it right next to the other images. The Gizmo BSP comes with two ROMs already, a demo ROM and a Southbridge ROM. Um, either one of these should work for you. Uh, I'm going to save the ROM that's on my board to the um, to another name so that I can always restore it later if I need to. I'll click OK and then down here at the bottom is a go button and by clicking the go button that will launch the the uh, reading and it's going to download the ROM image from the gizmo board and I'll go ahead and start doing that and it's going to overwrite the original image that I already have. So what you should see is in the status here in the center of the tool it says reading memory. Um, you'll, you'll watch that scroll by and then down at the bottom is a, a percentage it tells you how far along it is in the operation. This whole thing takes, well with the 8 meg ROM it takes about 15 minutes so I'm going to uh, pause for a while and when I rejoin you I'll have the ROM image on my disk and we'll continue from there with uh, flashing the, the new ROM from the BSP. So I'll see you soon.